Several years ago, I was coaching an independent financial advisor on how to earn more money by overcoming his addiction to the approval of others. He was earning around $75,000 a year, but his goal was to earn at least $1 million per year. Now, this is a huge leap, but I've helped other people make it, and I knew this guy had the talent. We spent months analyzing his book of business, and what I finally concluded was that he simply wasn't talking to enough people during the course of his sales day. I sat him down and asked him a series of questions about his products, customers, and his prospects, and what I found was that he was terrified of rejection. The only solution was systematic desensitization. So I explained the concept to him in detail, and I challenged him to set a 90-day goal to talk to eight prospects per day, six days per week, for 12 straight weeks. That's 576 conversations with prospective clients in 90 days. Well, he looked a little shocked when I suggested it, so I asked him, how many prospects do you normally speak to in 90 days? And he said, maybe 100. So I explained to him that after speaking to more than five times that many prospects in the next 90 days, he will have desensitized dramatically to his prospects approval or lack thereof. I told him that it didn't matter how many prospects he converted to clients because the more rejection he encountered, the faster he would desensitize. Well, I'm proud to say that he took my challenge, met the 576 conversation goal, and developed more clients during that 90-day period than he ever had before. After the 90 days ended, I asked him to rate his addiction to the approval of others on a one to seven scale, with seven being most addicted. He said, well, 90 days ago, I rated myself a six, and now I'm probably closer to a three or four. He said, it's amazing. I feel like a different person. I don't feel any fear in asking someone to buy. It's incredible. That was five years ago. A few weeks ago, I asked him to rate himself on the same one to seven scale, and without hesitation, he said, on my weakest days, I'm a two. On my best days, I'm a one. And he smiled like a Cheshire cat. My last question to him was the one he'd been waiting for. I said, so how much did you earn last year? Well, he glanced away shyly, laughed a little, and looked me straight in the eyes and said, two million.